Sue epitomizes her passion for the credit industry. She lives, breathes, it oozes out of her. She's a ray of sunshine. I just love her and, and you want to gravitate towards her and, and just be with her. As a mentor, she looks for that hopefulness, uh, what the promising outcome could be. Challenges everyone to look things from a different perspective, and that has been a force to reckon with in elevating so many women leaders within the credit union movement and be themselves and find their own inner voice. She looked around and said, we have a lot of really talented women in the credit union movement, yet we weren't coming together to find ways to make a difference. So she developed the SHE Conference for women getting together and networking, improving our ability to lead, uh, to be creative, and to be inclusive. When I began the SHE Group, I was a senior vice president. And two years later, I became a CEO. And a lot of that, I think, was getting the confidence and the coaching from other female leaders, and specifically Sue. If I think of the name Sue Mitchell, I immediately think of advancing women in leadership in our industry. And Sue identified a gap there a long, long time ago. And if you look at what she's done to champion the Global Women's Leadership Network and to actually get this topic of the women issue on the table, it's been phenomenal. GWLN, it's the premier program of World Council. I became the founder. And at that time, we had zero money, zero members. We had an idea. And I became the founding chair, and we got people that believed in me that this network meant something. Because there were doubters in the early years about credit unions and why we needed a women's network. But we drove an initiative that from zero to 2,000 members, 78 countries, in less than 10 years. By serving the Global Women's Leadership Network and the World Council, we were inspired to serve women leadership in law enforcement. So today, we, um, we sponsor education sessions for women leaders in law enforcement, and we saw a parallel need for that type of service. She brings things to the table that you otherwise wouldn't think of. When I first got to Ventura County Credit Union, I saw all these agricultural workers and found out that none of them had any banking relationships. And Sue was the one who pointed her finger at me and said, well, what are you gonna do about it? So we worked with Brian Branch at the World Council of Credit Unions and signed up agricultural workers and it was their first banking relationship they'd ever had since they'd been in the United States. Sue pushes ever so nicely to, for you to do something, to help people out. You're not there just for the people who have wealth. You need to help the underserved. Sue has provided education and training programs for credit unions in Africa, in the Pacific, and in Europe. Sue was the moderator for the Future Forum. And Sue has been out in the field with us many times on our international engagement programs. We work in this movement because we want to make a difference in other people's lives. And that's what Sue Mitchell lives, and that's what she breathes on a daily basis. I worked with Sue Mitchell on a World Council project in Busia, Kenya. When I went out to the orphanage with her and I saw her roll up her sleeves and do whatever needed to be done, she was right there side by side with everyone, and that, that totally amazed me. Sue's passion is addicting. That once she gets her hands on you, you just watch out. I feel like so many times she's called me and I've gotten off the phone, I'm like, what did I just get myself into? And I know many credit union leaders out there will agree, but she has this incredible ability to mobilize. And if you don't do it, then she'll just drive you crazy until you do it anyway. The HRD network was a network of human resource developers in California. My HR person insisted that I go to those meetings. And who was there but Sue? That was part of her volunteer work, bringing these women from all over the world together to experience that development opportunity they probably would not have other gotten. And she continues to do that to this day. 
She's trying to get credit unions to talk about those things that the more traditional conferences may not feel comfortable in order to constantly look at the boundaries of what credit unions can do for their members and how they do it. So that cooperation among cooperatives, that collaboration that Sue has helped not only build upon in her own life, but build upon in the credit union system. I've been your partner and part of your journey now for nearly 35 years. Watching you work always leaves me in awe and so very proud. I've been thinking about what one word I could apply to Sue Mitchell. And I decided instead of a word, I have an image. This is what Sue Mitchell stands for. This is Sue Mitchell in an image. My heart is full and that gratitude requires me to work with us. And it's so natural. I just believe in you and you and you. I mean, I believe. And I believe that if you believed, you could do it. And credit unions have such a synergy with that belief system. You know, give your heart to what credit unions mean. Because to be engaged and volunteer and support within the United States, as well as globally, will change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Credit Union Foundation is proud to honor Susan Mitchell with the 2018 Herb Wagner Memorial Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement.